What's up, ladies? Once again, this is Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're talking a little bit about farmers who are also hackers and pirates, or who just help hackers and pirates. Why American farmers are Un, or are hacking their tractors with Ukrainian firmware. So, of course, I'll leave the link to this in the description, but ultimately what's going on is people no longer have the right to repair their own things. If you've been listening to Lewis Rossman, I'm sure that you've heard his arguments for keeping the right to repair. It was a, a big thing. A, uh, he was actually going to Washington or places to make sure that everyone understood that you should have the right to repair. Unfortunately, John Deere and Apple are saying you don't need to be able to repair things because we will repair them for you. But unfortunately, that comes at a very hefty cost. So John Deere is getting into this thing where basically if you have a new John Deere, probably anything from 2000 onwards you have to have a certain program in order to do minor fixes minor upkeep uh, Lewis Rossum's run into problems in the past where Apple has told him that uh, you can't have our specs so L Lewis can get down there very finely and find out exactly what cable or what connection on the printed circuit board is no longer working and what he will do is he will run a cable instead of so that instead of the computer using that printed circuit board wire he'll run a cable and it'll do the exact same thing well apple is arguing right now apple is arguing that after you do that that is no longer an apple computer that is uh, a pc laptop basically and if anyone's ever run uh, or even visited my website has any idea what tech is knows that that is still an apple that is still very much an apple it has a fix on it that uh, Apple is too scared to do, but it's still an Apple. Anyways, John Deere is the head of the pack saying, screw you guys, you guys are not getting the information about how to fix your stuff. Just like Lewis Rossman is not getting spec sheets that say where these cables are running to. All of these people, if they want this information, they have to get it through illegitimate reasons, which is very unfortunate because once you pay for something, you have the right to upkeep it yourself. But there are a lot of upset farmers right now because of uh, of this. Anyways, a dive into the thriving black market of John Deere tractor hacking. To avoid draconian locks that John Deere puts on their tractors that farmers buy, farmers throughout America, the heartland, are, have started hacking their equipment with firmware that's cracked in in East Europe and traded by invite only paid only online forms now first off that's almost a little bit disappointing that you had to buy this stuff but at the same time through the online forms they give you tech support so maybe you more or less pay for the tech support so when uh, when crunch time comes and we break down chances are we don't have time to wait for a dealership employee to fix it says this one hog farmer uh, most of the new equipment requires a download to fix, and only John Deere has that stuff. What you've got is a technician running around here with a cracked Ukrainian John Deere software that can be bought off the black market. That is definitely what's happening. Unfortunately, John Deere is not certifying other people to do this stuff. So we got hackers, farmers who are also hackers. I freaking love this stuff, man. Going around fixing these John Deere tractors probably for a tenth of the price. But hey, John Deere, why don't you just uh, certify people to run around, make this software reasonably, to, uh, reasonably obtainable. Here we see uh, the service advisor 2.8, and it shows you exactly. You got all kinds of stuff here. Uh, 99 bucks. That's how much they're selling that for. What else we got here? Yeah, why would you need to encrypt your files? I, I, I'm, I'm sure there's a good reason. It says here supported by Windows XP, but I'm sure it says supported by Windows XP and uh, things above it. John Deere Service Advisor, a diagnostic program used by John Deere technicians to recalibrate tractors and can diagnose broken parts. It can program payloads into different controllers. And man, uh, I, I, t I tell you something, I grew up uh, around the farmland in small farm towns. And 
not all tractors, or not all families have the ability to have million dollar new machines that you have to get all of this expensive stuff for. In a lot of cases with the smaller farms, the tractors they're running is just old stuff holding on by Hail Mary full of grace. And it's getting stuff done, but they can't afford these things. And the unfortunate part is it's not just John Deere. It's the same thing with Cat, uh, Macy Ferguson, uh, all kinds of other stuff. Anyways, here we have one of the cables. Uh, the Cass V2 Agricultural John Deere Tractor Cable. That's the 7 pin that goes in the tractor. That's the RS-232 that will go into a controller that uh, outputs with USB. And uh, here it says, and stop locking down, engine control manuals, reader's functionality. They do this to force users into their service, which they have 100% monopoly on. Remember, you have to go directly to John Deere. Other people cannot uh, do this. They don't certify anyone else. So anyways, RS-232 goes into here. And there you got your advisor. And uh, we got USB here at the bottom. Are we supposed to throw the tractor in the garbage or what? So yeah, there's a lot of people concerned about this uh, right to repair. You definitely should have the right to repair anything that you have. And, oh man, it, just, it, it disappoints me the way that uh, America, Canada, democracies are going not really to be... They're not really democracies anymore. They, they are democracies for the business. Now, democracies, uh, North America's kind of has this Reaganomics trickle-down effect. They call it Reaganomics because Reagan was the only one who actually believed in it. There was no school of thought that thought this was a good idea. The trickle-down effect, the the idea you give rich people more money and they give more jobs to Americans. No, you give rich people more money, they'll just find it easier to take their jobs elsewhere. Anyways, automation is coming back these days. It shouldn't be too uh, controversial on it, but manufacturing is coming back. It's not the same kind of manufacturing it was. It is uh, working with a lot more robots. But anyways, I digress on, on that part, but really, the governments are only working for the corporations these days, and it's disgusting. It's disgusting how much uh, the medical thing is in the States. We got single-payer stuff up here, and we're doing pretty good, and I understand down there, if you don't have as much money, you won't make as much development, but geez, aren't doctors, aren't these people in the medical industry there to help help people they're driven to help people they're not there to make money and uh, man I've had uh, my dad had carcinoid syndrome supposed to die when I was three and uh, and he knows the medical community pretty well in Canada and in the states and there are very few people out there that uh, that are there for just the money but but why is it so expensive holy cr it's 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 like getting your cell phone bill in. You have no idea what it's going to be. You go in, you might as well spin a wheel. Like, oh, I, br I got in an accident. Spin a wheel, see how much money you owe. And everybody's interested in giving the rich more. John Deere has a monopoly. It's okay. John Deere has more money. Therefore, is a better human being. Therefore, is more equal than other people. And these corporations are legally people, but you, you can't detain them, which is it's just freaking amazing. I don't, I don't get how that works. And, uh, and okay, so what's really crazy about it is all the way up the ladder, there's decisions that are getting made that are for the company. And, like, who, who's the evil person in this company? Who's the evil person in the corporation? And if you keep going up the chain, you find, okay, it's the managers. But the managers have to do it because they're managers. The, board, uh, the, the supervisors or the, the, man, the manager manager needs it to be good. They, but those guys need it to be good because the board of directors need it to be good. The board of directors need it to be good so that the, uh, the, the stockholder will gain money it's all for the stockholder at the end of the day you know and, and you know who the stockholder is at the end of the day people me and you people people all over the place just wanting their stock to go up and it's that ignorance right there right there <clears throat> where the evil can can fester because everyone purely wants money and they don't understand what the damage is to people and once they get dollar signs in front of their face, that's all they're worried about. That's that's the concern that I have for the way that I see corporate business uh, destroying humanity in the states and in Canada. It's all over the place. It's not. Oh, it's just. It's just. It seems like we we got to a point. It's. It almost seems like in the 60s, people had a little bit more of a soul, and they weren't going to 
jip each other so much and now everyone's just interested in a dollar that's all anyone's interested in anyways i digress about all that stuff right to repair bill is still going through and uh <clears throat> john deere is considered one of the big <laughs> one of the biggest defending turd burglars of the bunch and their idea is that everything needs to work perfectly because if it doesn't and someone gets hurt we'll get sued someone will die and then we'll get sued and uh, we have all the liabilities so we should have all of the all of uh, the ability to sell and uh, figure out who does what but right here we see for not totally outrageous and reasonable prices to some millionaire farmers not all of them are millionaires but i'm sure if you sold off all your assets in the land i'm sure most uh, you'd find most farmers are actually millionaires, but if you look at their bank account, it wouldn't be, so I digress. Anyways, uh, John Deere Hitachi uh, Diagnostic Software, 160 I guess and this is U.S. dollars. John Deere Payload Files. Uh, I wish I could tell you what all of this stuff was, but I work with CNC PLC a lot, and this has uh, a lot of the same idea. This looks like the same kind of stuff that uh, that we would use anyways prices up to four or five hundred bucks and then you get your hardware too so i had a quick look around and i honestly couldn't find this i couldn't find this but uh, the positive side about putting money on this stuff is you can get help and when when you go to a forum you're probably there with the people who hacked it directly and if there's something wrong these guys still want to make bank they want their sauce so they will uh, they'll help you i have no doubt with that that's one of the reasons why you spend money on things again i had a little search around i couldn't find anything but geez did you guys know that there's so many uh john deere games for the pc and for portable units drive green people want farm simulators that's interesting but then again farm farm department or the the farm industry gets to play with a lot of really cool toys so maybe that's why honestly if i had the chance to drive a, a combine around you're yeah i'd be driving a combine around i would i'd do that all day long anyways i like to think that uh, the farmers represent a kind of a kind of free backbone free power representation of liberty and freedom and the idea that they're locked down directly uh, because of computer files is disgusting it's hopefully someone will figure something out here hopefully they'll be given a little bit of leeway because we don't have this kind of problems with cars and uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of people would have problems if we did have start having problems like this with cars but anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like, subscribe if you like this. Appreciate it. And uh, take care of yourselves, people. Take care of each other. Catch you later.